Hi everyone, it's Don and I hope you're having a fantastic day. Well, yeah, I've been on the road all day for about 10 hours of driving, a little bit of tired, didn't get much sleep last night, trying to get everything wrapped up before I headed out. And uh, yeah, and then I open up this morning, uh, sorry, when I, this, today when I get to the hotel and I'm reading these articles and I, I just got to talk about them. So one thing I try and strive to do is whenever I'm talking about a subject here on the channel, I try and see both sides. I may have an opinion and I may express my opinion, but I still always want to try and see both sides of the story. But I also don't want to try and mislead anybody when I'm talking. But I was reading a couple articles. First one was, I believe, the New York Post. And it's just about it's it's came out on Saturday and it goes, uh, the first large major cruise ship set sail in Europe. And I said, oh, they're going to talk about MSC Grandioso setting sail and everything. And, All right. Sounds like a good article. I'll read it. You know, they've been sailing for a few weeks now, so it's, it's, they're a little behind the times, right? But the very opening sentence, the very opening sentence they say is, believe it or not, the floating petri dishes of the oceans are back. And I'm going, uh, what? Why, why are you starting your article like that? And then they just go into a whole list of, oh, and the cruise ship is setting sail and it has some new rules and the MSC people and it's filled and this is the protocols. And they had some people who were testing positive before they get on the ship and they didn't let them get on the ship or they didn't let their party get on the ship and all these things. But it, why have that opening line? Why is that your opening line when the rest of the article is just talking about what you should be talking about? The fact that the cruise ship got, is sailing again. Why do you have to add in floating Petri dishes before you said anything? You're kind of showing you're biased when you start your articles like that. And then, of course, the Wall Street Journal comes out and they start off in their articles right away saying that cruise ships set sail despite high risk to passengers and crew. Um, what? And then uh, if you go into their article, they said, well, back in March, you know, we noticed that the, this was happening off of cruise ships. Everything was happening in March, you idiots. Everything was happening in March. People were getting it from airlines. People were picking it up at Walmarts. People were picking up at restaurants. Why do you say now that they are endangering people's lives and risking people's lives after we've had five months for them to get prepared for this? And not only that, the cruise ships that have started to set sail are starting to do a pretty darn good job. Mind Shift has not had any incidences whatsoever. MSC has not had any incidences so far. But you know what? They're, they're still spread. They're still spread around the world in different places. But hey, hey, you have to start your article like that. Why are you showing your bias? Why not just do reporting for a change? Wall Street Journal, I, I mean, wow, how, how the mighty have fallen. Really, how the mighty have fallen. Uh, you know, I, I don't understand. It's one thing if you could come out and say, hey, look, this happened and this happened and this happened right now and this is why they're not prepared but no everything they talked about was march march five months ago before any new social distancing so tell me is it really any different than going to a restaurant or a movie theater five months ago is it i don't think so so yeah i'm, I'm really getting disillusioned with the mainstream media and their complete bias in all their reporting now and the way they even when they're even when the article looks like it's a it's a pro, like the New York Post article, it was a proper, proper article about what's happened, how they're following the rules, how there's been no incidences. But they have to start off with, believe it or not, the floating Petri dishes of the ocean are back, guys. I can't believe they're sailing again. What's going on? Oh, yeah. By the way, there's been no incidences and everything's been fine. 
Is it any wonder we don't watch TV anymore and we just kind of go on YouTube nowadays and other social media and we stream our stuff? Because we don't want to hear this garbage anymore. We really don't. It's one thing to come out and, and state facts. This, this is what's happening. This is what's happening. This is what's happening. That's perfect. Do that. But stop showing the bias in your reporting. Uh, you, don't, you don't come out with an article that's saying everything's going well and everything's working and everything, but start it off on a really negative tone, tone that has nothing to do with the articles. It's so frustrating to me. And maybe it's just that I'm really tired. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm driving like this and I'm going, okay, so I pull over and I, I close my eyes for a half hour and I'm refreshed and I get back on the road. But yeah, yeah, it, it really kind of bothered me when I read, read these articles this morning. And I uh, sorry, literally 20 minutes ago. Um, so there you go. That's what I think right now, the mainstream media. I, 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 I hate the way they, they do their articles. I hate the way they report things nowadays. It doesn't seem to be about just telling what's happening and letting us decide. It seems to be about them trying to input their, their decision, right? Um, I don't know. Oh, well, that's the world we live in and that's what we got to live with. Uh, well, uh, just a refresh. I am traveling all week. I'm heading to Vancouver from Ottawa, Canada. Well, Vancouver, British Columbia. Uh, it's a it's a four and four point seven hour a day drive according to uh, Google Maps, <laughs> and uh, I've tried to space out my stops so I can stop a little bit along the way and record and show you a little bit of Canada as best I can. So stay tuned for that. In the meantime, well, I, I hope you appreciate this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. What do you guys think? Do you think the media just looks for the headlines? Do you think they're really biased in everything they report? Not just like cruise ships, just whatever suits, suits the, uh, the writer's fancy. That's how they aim and, and, and manipulate their article. Even if the article's positive, for some reason, they put a negative spin on it if they don't like what they're talking about. And it's really, you know, it, it kind of it kind of drives me nuts. Well, let me know what you guys think down in the comments. I get pretty annoyed at it. In the meantime, stay tuned. You're going to see some sights from across Canada as I go. And uh, let's hope nothing happens. <laughs> well, I hope you appreciate this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. I'll we'll see more tips, more tricks, more travel vlogs from around the world and all through Western and Eastern Canada. Hit that subscribe button. Till next time, have yourself a safe and a great vacation. <laughs> Don't believe everything you read.